Jaleel Williams, the point guard for Miami. See man-to-man -man defense, both of these teams starting out aggressively, but really sagging in the paint. I think LSU is more effective when Alexis Morris is the ball handler. Morris pokes that one away. Reese is going to give it to her, and it's Alexis Morris with the layup. And they're scoring 12 more points off turnovers than their opponents. They average about 20 points off turnovers a game this season. That one's poked away from Jaleel. Angel Reese hesitated. That shot rolls out. Jasmine Roberts gets it to fall. Poole recovers. Here goes Lachey Dwyer up ahead to Roberts. Patience. Back-to-back -back buckets. Angel Reese, she loses the battle to Lola Pendande. Miami in its very first Elite Eight, seeking its first Final Four. LSU looking to get to a sixth Final Four today. Of eight points. So in the Oklahoma State game, they came back from 17 down. When they played Indiana, they kept that same mentality. They were playing as if they were behind. Spearman in for Miami, number 32 in orange. Jalea Williams saw an opening and took all of it. LSU is, try, is really finding it hard to find ways to get the ball to Angel Reese. Yeah, Angel Reese is 0 for 4 as Alexis Morris scores. There's Williams looking for something, gives it back up to Destiny Harden. Harden trying to go over Angel Reese, it's tough. Yeah, Harden had an open shot from the top of the key, tried to get closer and came right into a bigger defender. And Alexis Morris turns it over. Now, Kim Mulkey told us she was expecting to see multiple defenses from Miami. Carla Area Vets on the move in transition, and she scores right over Alexis Morris. Alexis Morris, the only player for LSU to hit a field goal. She's three for four, the rest of team 0 for 13. Jalea Williams, NCAA tournament. I wonder if they're having flashbacks. Jasmine Roberts at the elbow. Yeah, Jasmine Roberts definitely has that swag. Jaleah Williams trying to dump it off. Back the other way, Flache. Seven seconds for Miami. Harden. Turnover. Sixth turnover by Miami. LSU is going to need to hit from the perimeter to open up the paint. She's already set an LSU single season record in free throws made and free throws attempted. She's attempted more free throws this season than any other player in the nation. And I know that Flaugé Johnson has a big personality like Angel Reese. And anytime, and she has great respect for Angel Reese. So if Angel Reese has challenged her, I can expect that she's going to try to turn it up. But right now, beat Villanova on Friday. LSU cannot stop. Forcing Angel to miss inside, but be in position then to not allow her to get the offensive rebound. Hang on there, Coach Beck. Angel Reese is playing. You see Miami is icing the screen, not allowing Alexis Morris to come off the screen, and Angel Reese is away from the basket. Samaya Smith with another offensive rebound and the putback. We have not had a three-pointer made in this game by either team. Getting out in transition. So far, LSU. Morris back to Samaya Smith. She's driving into the lane. That's a freshman. Not sure what the stoppage was. It was not a foul call. Shot clock still on here for Miami as we wind down the second quarter. Hurricanes have hit four of their last five. Old Acre. Can't go around Reese. How about we get to the free throw line? Courtney, you mentioned no free throws by Miami in that first half. Also 0 for 9 for Miami from deep. She wants to see some three balls falling. Now we haven't seen a three ball on either side, Brooke. Well, we knew these teams loved to score in the paint, so that's not too surprising, but I am surprised that Destiny and Angel have yet to hit a shot. Right on Q. 
you. She heard you. Angel Reese with her first <laughs> field goal of this game. The fifth leading, number five in the country in scoring. Oh, there. a slam down by Spearman. And Miami's defense has everything to do with it. The rotation is there, flooding the paint. The help is there. And then. Long two from Flage Johnson. We saw her hit a shot and just her shoulders drop like, finally. Swatted away by Shamaya Smith. And then the foul. Samaya Smith. Wide open lane for Kateri Pool. She misses. You heard her tell Brooke going into the half, I'm just going to continue to get my shots and take them. My teammates cheering me on. Cavender has been smothered all day. And yeah, one for six for Haley Cavender, Miami's leading scorer. Really solid move from Lola Pendande. For LSU, it would be their sixth appearance in the Final Four, but they haven't been there since 2008. Samaya Smith swats it away. Well, you have Caitlin Clark that can just light it up from everywhere, going against Louisville. Louisville has struggled early in the season, but their defense seems to have gotten locked in. So this is going to be a fun one that follows us today. Alexis Morris steals it, puts up the three. Jackson Roberts' shot rattles out. What's got to change for Miami? Well, they're going to have to stop turning the ball over. Morris got it back. Kateri Poole left open. We have a three-pointer, folks. Not having Kateri Poole on the floor in the first half, that's what they have been missing. That three point. She struggled to score tonight, just one for six. Harden. And the put back by Spearman. Spearman anticipated the shot, got inside position. Helped them beat Indiana, and then they found themselves up 21 against Villanova. So they've been on both sides of the coin. And I got to say, Destiny Harden still having a tough game shooting-wise, but she's keeping this team together. Every chance she gets. Well, Miami had three double-digit comeback games in the regular season. They can get turned up. There goes the Shay Dwyer. She has been in foul trouble a lot of this game. Miami. They got five minutes to make a run at it. They've come from behind. And you mentioned the contact issue. Destiny Harden spent a good portion of that timeout trying to get her contact back in. Uh, so that could be affecting your vision, CP. I mean, uh, not having a great shooting night. Maybe she can't see. The shaped wire. Takes off Alexis Morris. That's the fourth foul on Roberts. Uh, Dwyer is probably the most competitive and ferocious. LSU hasn't scored in over three and a half minutes, and they turn it over. Destiny Harden is there to take it. To Virginia Tech, they called it Camp Miami, worked on the fundamentals, went back to the basics. Alexis Morris, you need a bucket. Morris off the side of the backboard. This stays with LSU. 1.2 on the shot clock for LSU. Just throw it up for Angel Reese. Well, my, Miami's got to press right now and try to force a turnover, but you got to protect the basket. Well, Deja Williams got loose. They want to create, and Katie Meyer is trying to ask her team to do so, but they can't catch Alexis Morris. She's too quick. Alexis Morris is just too hard to catch. Miami wanted to foul her. As well, the contributions, the buy-in of those four transfers have been huge. Morris steals it away. The last second bucket, 22 points for Jasmine Roberts. Big time player, Destiny Harden. Kim Mulkey's working magic at LSU. The 
Tigers back to the Final Four for the first time since 2008. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.